the most deadly natural disasters in history. Stories of survival and tragedy. Hey guys, again welcome back to our channel. In this video let's talk about the most deadly natural disasters in history. Stories of survival and tragedy. We will take you on a journey through time, exploring the deadliest natural disasters in history and the incredible stories of those who survived them. From the massive volcanic eruptions to the powerful tsunamis, we'll witness the true power of nature and the human spirit. Natural disasters can occur anytime, anywhere, and without warning. They can bring both survival and tragedy, and their impact can be devastating. Today, we'll explore the most deadly natural disasters in history and the stories of those who lived through them. I think everyone is most familiar with the tsunami. Let's start our journey with it. The 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake was a massive undersea earthquake that struck off the west coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, on December 26, 2004. The earthquake had a magnitude of 9.1, 9.3, making it one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded. The earthquake triggered a devastating tsunami that affected countries around the Indian Ocean, including Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Thailand, and many others. The tsunami waves caused widespread destruction and loss of life, with an estimated 227,898 people killed or missing. Entire communities were swept away by the waves, leaving behind scenes of devastation and tragedy. Many people lost their homes, their loved ones, and their livelihoods. However, amid the chaos and destruction, there were also stories of survival and resilience. Many people were able to escape the tsunami by running to higher ground or climbing trees. Others were rescued by boats or helicopters. The survivors faced immense challenges, including the loss of their homes and loved ones, as well as the risk of disease and starvation. The disaster also highlighted the importance of early warning systems and disaster preparedness. In the years since the tsunami, many countries have invested in early warning systems and disaster response plans to prevent or mitigate the effects of future disasters. The 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami was a tragic event that had a profound impact on the affected communities in the world. While the disaster caused immense loss and suffering, it also demonstrated the resilience and strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Next, let's move on to the Haiti earthquake. The 2010 Haiti earthquake was a catastrophic magnitude 7.0 earthquake that struck Haiti on January 12, 2010. The earthquake caused widespread destruction in the capital city of Port-au-Prince and surrounding areas resulting in an estimated 230,000 deaths, as well as many injuries and extensive damage to infrastructure and buildings. The earthquake was a devastating tragedy for Haiti, a country that was already struggling with poverty, political instability, and social challenges. Many Haitians lost their homes, loved ones, and livelihoods, and the country's already limited resources were stretched to their limits. However, amidst the tragedy, there were also stories of survival and resilience. Many people were able to escape the earthquake by running to open spaces, sheltering under tables or in doorways, or being rescued from the rubble by local volunteers and international aid workers. Survivors faced many challenges, including a lack of food, water, shelter, and medical care, as well as the risk of disease outbreaks. The earthquake highlighted the importance of international aid and support, and the response from the international community was significant. Aid agencies and governments from around the world mobilized to provide support to Haiti, including search and rescue teams, medical personnel, and emergency supplies. The disaster also led to renewed efforts to address the underlying social, political, and economic challenges facing Haiti. The 2010 Haiti earthquake was a tragedy that had a profound impact on the people of Haiti and the world. While it caused immense suffering and loss, it also demonstrated the resilience and strength of the Haitian people in the face of adversity and the importance of international solidarity and support in times of crisis. 
Did you hear about the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami? The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, also known as the Great East Japan earthquake, was a powerful 9.0 magnitude earthquake that struck off the coast of Japan on March 11, 2011. The earthquake triggered a massive tsunami that devastated coastal communities in northern Japan, causing widespread damage and loss of life. The tsunami waves, which reached heights of up to 40 meters in some areas, caused extensive damage to buildings, roads, and other infrastructure, as well as swept away homes, cars, and other debris. The disaster resulted in an estimated 15,897 deaths and 2,529 people missing, as well as many injuries and widespread disruption to the lives of survivors. Despite the scale of the disaster, there were also many stories of survival and resilience. Many people were able to escape the tsunami by evacuating to higher ground, climbing onto rooftops or trees, or being rescued by emergency services. Survivors faced many challenges in the aftermath of the disaster, including the loss of homes and possessions, as well as the psychological trauma of the event. The disaster also highlighted the importance of disaster preparedness and response. Japan's disaster response system, which includes earthquake and tsunami warning systems, evacuation procedures, and emergency shelters, was praised for its effectiveness in saving lives and minimizing the impact of the disaster. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami was a tragic event that had a profound impact on Japan and the world. While the disaster caused immense suffering and loss, it also demonstrated the resilience and strength of the Japanese people in the face of adversity and the importance of disaster preparedness and response in saving lives and mitigating the impact of disasters. Do you think the worst disaster happened in 2013? The 2013 Typhoon Haiyan, also known as Super Typhoon Yolanda, was one of the strongest tropical cyclones ever recorded. The typhoon struck the Philippines on November 8, 2013, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. The typhoon, with winds of up to 315 km per hour, caused massive storm surges and heavy rainfall that led to flooding and landslides in many parts of the country. The disaster resulted in an estimated 6,300 deaths, with many more people injured and displaced from their homes. Despite the scale of the disaster, there were also many stories of survival and resilience. Many people were able to evacuate before the typhoon hit, while others took shelter in evacuation centers or more secure buildings. Survivors faced many challenges in the aftermath of the disaster, including a lack of food, water, shelter, and medical care. The disaster highlighted the importance of disaster preparedness and response. The Philippine government, aid agencies, and international donors mobilized quickly to provide support to the affected communities. Many volunteers and ordinary citizens also stepped forward to help, donating time, money, and resources to support relief efforts. The 2013 Typhoon Haiyan was a tragedy that had a profound impact on the people of the Philippines and the world. While it caused immense suffering and loss, it also demonstrated the resilience and strength of the Filipino people in the face of adversity and the importance of disaster preparedness and response in saving lives and mitigating the impact of disasters. Last but not least, let's talk about Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina was a devastating Category 5 hurricane that struck the Gulf Coast of the United States in August 2005. The hurricane caused extensive damage and loss of life in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, with New Orleans being one of the hardest hit cities. The hurricane caused widespread flooding, the destruction of buildings and infrastructure, and power outages that affected millions of people. The disaster resulted in an estimated 1,836 deaths and many more injuries as well as leaving many people homeless and without access to necessities such as food and clean water. Despite the scale of the disaster, there were also many stories of survival and resilience. Many people were able to evacuate before the storm hit, 
while others were rescued by emergency services or Good Samaritans. Survivors faced many challenges in the aftermath of the disaster, including the loss of homes and possessions, as well as the psychological trauma of the event. The disaster also highlighted the importance of disaster preparedness and response. The response to Hurricane Katrina was heavily criticized for its slow and inadequate initial response, but it also led to improvements in disaster response policies and procedures in the United States. Hurricane Katrina was a tragedy that had a profound impact on the people of the Gulf Coast and the United States as a whole. While it caused immense suffering and loss, it also demonstrated the resilience and strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity and the importance of disaster preparedness and response in saving lives and mitigating the impact of disasters. That brings us to the end of the The Most Deadly 05 Natural Disasters in History Stories of Survival and Tragedy Video We've explored the incredible power of nature and the human spirit as well as the stories of those who lived through some of the deadliest natural disasters in history. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through time, and we encourage you to learn more about these incredible events that have shaped our world. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.